Guys, we've got to talk about a lot of different things coming up this week. Today is Sunday, and today is probably going to be one of the last days where we're not talking about something very, very specific to the NFL draft. I mean, we're pro- this is about the draft. Uh, the draft is fast approaching. We are like four days away as, as of this point. Uh, the draft is on Thursday this week, and I've already laid out... Uh, in the Orlando Brown video yesterday, if you have not seen that, go back and watch uh, watch the whole thing. But mainly the end, towards the end of the video, I lay out my schedule for the upcoming week of videos talking about the uh, the NFL draft and me breaking down all the things that are going to happen. So make sure you go back and watch that video, specifically uh, the ending part of it. But watch the whole video. It's not that long a video. Just go back and watch that video so you can know and be ready for what the schedule is going to look like on the channel for at least the uh, the noon videos that go up so today's video we're going to be talking about the top defensive players drafted in the last 10 nfl drafts uh i have the the thing right here in front of my monitor in case you see me looking at it that's what i'm looking at so basically we all know that ohio state is one of if not the best teams in all of college football it's really just three it's really just alabama ohio state and clemson that's really all you got in college football but you don't really see a lot of defense linemen from Alabama and Clemson doing that well in the NFL. There's a few. There's a couple. But Ohio State really dominates defensive players in the in the NFL draft. And so what we're going to be talking about today, like I said, the top defensive players uh, drafted in the last 10 NFL drafts. And we've got four out of the 10 that are Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, people say that oh alabama is is db university georgia is db university uh alabama is d-line university florida is d-line university no what i always say to that is ohio state is nfl university basically because really other than the quarterback position which i admit i'm a buckeye fan i admit the quarterback position has not done very well in recent memory or at all in uh, in the NFL, transitioning from Ohio State to the NFL. Most recent example is Dwayne Haskins. He has that's more of off the field issues with his mentality and his and and what he's got going on off the field stuff. So maybe he can turn it around. I don't know. But we've got Justin Fields, who's a top pick in this draft. Hopefully, he can be the the guy that changes the trend and allows for Buckeye quarterbacks to have success in the NFL. So. But we're not talking about offensive players. We are talking about defensive players, the top defensive players. So, obviously, last year, 2020, Chase Young, my one of my favorite players of all time, he went number two overall to the Washington football team. We all know this. We all remember this. I thought he should have been number one, uh, but it is it is what it is. In 2019, the very next or the very season before that, Nick Bosa goes number two overall. That's back-to-back number two overall picks for Ohio State defense alignment. He gets drafted, obviously, by the San Francisco 49ers. 2018, the year before that, Denzel Ward goes number four to the Cleveland Browns. You you, you see a trend? (laughs) Do you see a trend here? 2017 was Miles Garrett to the Browns. Obviously, Miles Garrett's one of the best defense alignment in the NFL. He's a monster. I love Miles Garrett. He's great. He went number one to the Browns. 2016, Joey Bosa to the Chargers, number three overall. So th- four out of the fo- the first five people that I've said played at Ohio State. Then you go to 2015, Dante Fowler, three to the Jags. 2014, Jadeveon Clowney, number one to the Texans. 2013, Deion Jordan, number three to the Dolphins. Number er, 2012, Morris Claiborne, number six to, I think, the Cowboys, if I'm not mistaken. And then... 2011 Von Miller to uh, number two to the Broncos. So that's the top. That's the last 10 NFL drafts and the top def- defensive player taken in them. Four out of the 10 are Ohio State Buckeyes. I know there's not a Ohio State uh, defense alignment that is in this draft that's like crazy projections or anything. I mean, the one of the highest rated defensive players for Ohio State is Sean Wade. I think he'll be fine in the NFL. I think he's going to be great. But it's just crazy the disrespect that Ohio State gets from a lot of the other 
fan or a lot of the other uh, college fans, even though the people that we put into the NFL are better than the people that those schools put into the NFL, just based on how they get drafted. They may not turn out to be, although all four of these players that I mentioned turned out to be very good. Uh, there's really only like three guys on this whole list that didn't turn out to be anything. Fowler, Jordan, and Claiborne really didn't turn out to be anything, but the rest are maybe even future Hall of Famers, you could say. Uh, it's just four players drafted, the top defensive player, the first defensive player taken, Four out of the ten years was an Ohio State Buckeye. And four out of the ten years was an Ohio State... Well, three out of the ten years was an Ohio State defense alignment. Then you got Denzel Ward. That's how good Ohio State is. People don't understand how good Ohio State is at recruiting, at developing talent, and putting that talent into the NFL. Putting that talent in the best position to get into the NFL. So, who knows what's going to happen this year with Ohio State players getting drafted. I don't know. I hope that all the Ohio State players do get drafted and, and are in good situations for their careers. Um, but I just wanted to bring this up mainly because I'm an Ohio State fan and I just I like to uh, shove it in the face of, of Alabama fans and of, of Clemson fans because uh, because we've put NFL more NFL players in the, the draft than probably a lot of the other schools. So... I just want—I just wanted to bring that up, basically, just just to talk about Ohio State because I love Ohio State. So I—I I, I, that's basically all this video was is just for me to talk about Ohio State bases. That's all—that's all it really was. Uh, if you guys have any comments down, let the let me know down below uh, what you guys think. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Join the Juice Club. We are on the road to 400 subscribers. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just mind blowing? That. We are on the road to 400 subscribers. That's wild to me. That is so crazy. But we are on the road, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. Help us get there, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.